Assalamu alaikum, hi dear listeners, dear friends and students. Welcome back again my civil engineering channel. Actually after a long time I am going to upload a new video. This one actually for compressive strength test by compression machine by a standard of BSEN 1961 okay so today I will show how to do the test by using compression machine by following a standard BSEN 1961 the sample should be flexural sample it's called prism this is the sample a portion of prism or it's called by standard its name is prism halves you can see this is a portion of prism so this is the prism actually after testing flexural stent test I will make it in two pieces you see I break it into two pieces so I will do test for the compressive strength so it's called prism halves okay this one is the frame this frame actually to put inside the sample it's called jig or frame so we use this one uh, as name is jig this is the machine I need to turn on the switch then I need to on here it was off I on then I need to do setting here I should go on menu test perimeter I make setting based on standard 2.4 kilonewton per second and sample weight if you need density and sample is sample type which type of sample you want to do so my sample actually uh, uh, there are they mention here different size so i'm not using those size that's why I, I click here any area so when i select any area they select 1600 so my sample is actually, actually 1600 millimeter square 40 by 40 it has cross section 40 by 40 so it's already setting inside when I select 8 it's come 1600 so enter okay then it has manual I need to make it auto okay so this is the setting I have done this one jig I need to put sample inside of the jig okay uh, for testing I need to make sure the sharp surface I need to put on the top and it should be in the middle it should be in the center area the cross section 40 by 40 millimeter it will be uh, on the center actually okay so done already you can close the door then it was unlocked it was released unlocked so I need to lock it I need to lock the machine okay you see it's already locked okay then this is the rapid approach by this rapid approach I need to push down I need to make sure the surface already touched by the top part you see here
is going down I see it's already touched then I need to check in display you see still minus 5.1 the force and strength is minus 3.2 so I need to make sure this is 0 or it should be not minus actually it should be 0 or plus so I need to make sure it's still nicely placed in Okay, it's zero so I need to make tear okay it's tear so now it's auto then I need to test you see the machine is giving the reading force force is by kilo Newton unit strength by MPA mega pascal uh, in the display showing the maximum load this on the maximum kilo Newton force or load this one the current force this is the strength MPA you see this is the sample area surface 1600 millimeter square the rate 2.4 this is called phase rate you can see in the standard they mention phase rate should be 2400 Newton per second or 2.40 kilo Newton per second my fellow researcher my fellow student i think this video should be helpful for you guys so follow the instruction properly and before using the machine uh, you should read the standard uh, it's make sound so already cracked already cracked and finish already you see the status before it was started now it's already finished so now I need to release the machine I release this machine and then the top part of the jig it will automatically going up you see the slowly it's going up and important thing is I have to take reading this is the reading I will take this reading 166.2 kilo Newton this is the maximum load and it's giving the uh, strength 103.9 megapascal you can calculate manually by taking the force and you can cross check it so I will take the value Okay, I have uh, 21 variables. So this is variables number uh, mix number nine. So how much it was? 166.2. You see, 166.2. I should take kilo unit on 166.2, and the uh, megapixel 103.9. 103 megapixel is the strength so I am taking test by four sample by four sample I will do uh, average one this is actually selective sample so for the yeast mixes I have four sample by taking result of four sample I will do the result for the actual result it should be the average one so done my testing I need to take out the sample from the frame you see friend there are one two three four four sample so after testing this this force first sample I will do the average result if 
I need to do the standard deviation. I will do for that. Okay. So this is the sample. I need to do test again. You see. So this one I have done testing just now. You see how actually it's cracking. You can observe it. You can observe it actually how look like how the pattern of cracking it's called crack pattern you can see so it's not divided by many pieces because uh, I am using inside uh, fiber so that's why uh, still bonding is good okay so I am going to test another sample same way what I did before dear friend for the another sample I have no need to do the setting like previously I have done it's already already you see the setting remaining so I no need to change anything so I should tear and I should fix it again okay you see one thing I didn't lock it uh, this is the important we need to remember I need to log in then I should rapid approach pushing okay it's going down yeah force already in place so I need to make tear and now I start thank you dear listener dear researcher dear student have a good day thank you for watching this video this is all for today bye